polarize a variety. Sorry, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So we're now for the background in Kela geometry, finding the canonic metric uh, of Kela manifold is a central problem. So the first result uh, is uh, classical uniformization theorem. So dimension one in higher dimension, we want to find in the killer and stand matrix or more generally constant scalar curvature matrix for short way, you know, the CSDK matrix and the extreme kernel matrix. So, so for today's talk, we focus on CSDK uh, matrix. So let's recall for killer and stand matrix. Uh, the when the first chain class is negative or zero, your first all bound in negative case shows that shows that the compact Kähler manifold admits a unique unique Kähler and stand metric. But for for the positive case, it does not always exist uh, the Kähler and stand metric and uh, here introduce a notion of case stability and the conjecture it is equivalent to the existence of a K line stand metric. And Thomason reformulates the test definition by give, giving a, an algebra geometry definition of the Taki environment and the conjecture does that it is equivalent to the existence of a CSDK metric. This is the so-called Yautian Donaldson conjecture. So it is stated that the polarized manifold M L meets a CSDK metric in the first chain class C1L. You find only if M L is K polystable. So for follow case. The turn Donaldson song and the Tian solve the independently the, this problem. That is the final manifold and meets a K line star metric. We find only if M is K polystable. For in 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 the algebraic side, the theory has achieved substantial progress. The break. The main breakthrough is due to Fujita and the also Fujita and the Odaka, which reinterprets the case stability in terms of uh, vari variations by the algebraic invariant, the so called delta invariant or beta invariant. So people can test uh, the case stability of a follow variety by computing its delta invariant or beta invariant. So let's 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 recall some uh, basic definition. So let let X L be a polarized variety. Let P be a, a from a, a normal variety, maybe small normal variety Y to X be a subjective birational morphism. We we always assume the canonical divisor K X is Q Cartier. And a prime device f on the on y for some rational model y of x is called a prime device over x. We always use this notation prime device over x, uh, the set of all prime device over x. And for any prime device over x, we can define its uh, log discrepancy as. Uh, one plus the order f of the relative canonical divisor. So let's recall the definition of original beta invariant. Let x be a q follow variety, which means that the anti canonical divisor of kx is ample q cartier divisor. And uh, for singularity, the 
log discrepancy is always positive. And the Fujita and the Fujita and the knee defined a numeric invariant or the beta invariant, this one, equal to log discrepancy minus the integration of the volume part. So we always denote this S XF uh, by the second part. So due to Bloom and Johnson, we know that the delta invariant can be defined as the infinite of AX over SX. Also can see the original definition of Vegeta and Odaka, which involves some, some uh, def uh, notions, the so-called m best type divisor, by the way, to not use in today's talk. So uh, Fujita and Li, also some other people, show that uh, a final variety is K-same stable if and only if the beta invariant is always non-negative, and uh, if and only if the delta invariant is bigger than equal to one, and the K-stable if and only if the beta invariant is positive for all F. And the uniform case table, if and only if the beta gives us some uh, uniform constant epsilon times S invariant, uh, if and only if the delta invariant is strictly bigger than one. Sorry, I do not uh, introduce the uh, explicit definition of K stability, uh, but we, we do not use this. Um, so let me recall some basic definition of volume of big device. You know, there exists a continuous volume function on the, sorry, this castle. Uh, uh, Neuron theory space N Y X, which is a real, that real web space whose element is uh, numerical equivalence class of R Cartier device. For any Cartier device, the volume of, of the device is defined to be the new self of the asymptotic growth of H0 MD. And if, uh, if the volume is strictly positive, we say uh, such device is big and uh, all big class in the in this space forms a, a form a con, convex open cone we call the big cone denoted by the big X. So in general, so for next divisor, we know the volume of the of the divisor is is its self intersection, but uh, for, but for big divider, it does not hold. Uh, so to, to compute the volume of a big divisor, the books on Fari and Johnson introduced a product, the so-called positive intersection product, such that uh, the volume of the big divisor equal to the self-positive intersection product. I do not uh, want to uh, introduce the explicit definition of this uh, product, but uh, uh, interesting fact uh, due to the same paper is following. The, they show the volume function is C1, C1 D differentiable on the big cone and uh, compute the derivative as this formula. The, on the right-hand side, uh, this part is, uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, called uh, dimension one cycle and uh, gamma is a divisor. You can see as a divisor, so the intersection is well-defined. Uh, for an ample divisor, I, uh, sorry, not I, some people define 
the slope of the polarized variety as uh, mu L as the uh, intersection minus Kx dot L and minus one over the volume of L. In this paper, Deva and Lajangji compute the donaldson Futaki environment of the test configuration associated to a Jamie divisor for a polarized variety and obtain a new numeric environment data, which generalizes Fujita's original data environment. Uh, so we know for a divisor, uh, it's induced a uh, realization. And if the divisor is dreamy, the spiritualization is finite generated. So we can take the, the approach of the, of the uh, risk algebra of, of, of the induced spiritualization, which gave, uh, gives a test configuration with the integral central fiber. And uh, Delvin and Lajangji compute uh, this type of uh, test configuration and, uh, and uh, shows uh, the Donaldson Futaki variant of this type, type, type uh, test configuration equal to the beta LF. So the definition is beta LF divided into three parts. First one is not described in the same part, and the second one is mu L times the integration of the of the uh, volume part, and uh, the third part is the integration of derivative part. The, for the volume L, we always omit this pi star. So, so this volume computed on the variational model Y, not the X, but for simplicity, we always uh, omit the pi star. And uh, this notation uh, is this, is this, is defined as this one is derivative of the volume along the direction of pasta kx. So by, by books on Barry and the Johnson's result, this is well defined because when x is, uh, is suitable, this one is big. So this is, when t is small, this is also big. So this is, well defined. I always denote the SL environment as the integration for of the of the volume part for simplicity, and we de denote tau L F as the pseudo effective threshold of F. It, it's defined as the super X as the volume L minus X F is strictly positive. Uh, we can state a uh, uh, useful lemma and use it uh, again uh, repeatedly. For any big divisor and any prime prime de divisor, the integration of the of this this derivative part by by Boxon Barry Johnson's theorem. This this one is just the derivative part by by this one, which equal to the n plus one and uh, the integration of the volume part. So uh, if XL is called a valuative semi-stable, if the beta L is the non-negative and, uh, and uh, the XL is called evaluatively stable if the beta L is strictly positive for any long trivial prime divisor. Well, in which the long trivial means the valuation associated to the F is long trivial. And the uniformly evaluatively stable if there exists some uniform constant epsilon L such that the beta L big Z epsilon SL. So in Devon Jandri's paper, the same paper, the, they show that they showed that the case stability with respect to the integral test configurations is equivalent to the variative stability 
over the Jimmy devices. So, uh, motivated by the. Can I have a quick question. Yeah. What's an integral test configuration? Oh, sorry. Uh, integral test configuration means the central fiber is the integral. It's just just it just has has one one component. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So it's not quite equivalent to case stability, just some simplified version of case stability. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Welcome. So for for any ample divisor, we can define a uh uh, uniformly evaluates the stability threshold of L. It, it is defined as I use this theta L as a scope such that the course, the beta L bigger than the X S L. So if this theta L is strictly positive, then it is equivalent to the uniform variative stable. So in fact, when x l equals to the x minus k x, the final case, we know we have the theta l equal to the delta, delta environment minus one. This is the main motivation to study the theta environment. So my my theorem is this uniform variative stability is an open condition which means the uniform variative stability locus is an open subcon of the ample cone. So we can also show by the steam, steam technique, this, this uniform variative stability spatial, the theta environment is continuous on the ample, ample cone. Uh, for a rough idea, if we fix the ample device, which is a uniform variative stable, and choose a constant epsilon L such that it satisfies this inequality, uh, we fix any norm on this real space and define an open subset U epsilon. So we want to show there exists a small open neighborhood L epsilon of L in this ample cone, such that for any element in U, there exists some constant delta epsilon L prime, satisfying the beta L prime uh, bigger than the delta L prime dot the SL prime. So for so this, it's it's a surface surface to show uh, the following two estimates. First one is the direct, uh, difference of the beta L beta environment is not not bound by a uh, minus f epsilon and times s L prime. Well, f is a continuous function and uh, such as that f epsilon go to zero when epsilon go to zero. And the second one is this SL f is bigger than s minus epsilon and SL prime, where s minus epsilon is, is a continuous function, also a continuous function, and uh, which go to one as the epsilon go to zero. Indeed, yes, or beta l prime equal to the, this one. And uh, what's the term by, by the assumption, this one. And uh, the second one by this formula six equal to the, this one. So we plug in the formula seven, get uh, this, this, this inequality. And when epsilon go to zero, this one go to affect the constant and this one go to zero. So this is a positive constant. Uh, so name me, name me 
uh, name is the uh, new 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 subject. Uh, so the following I want to start is the variative uh, stability for the J equation. So let XL be a polarized manifold and H be an ample light bundle. And for in we fix the uh, kilometric chi in the C1 H and omega in C1L. And we consider this J equation the constant C. Omega phi n minus one equal to the constant C omega phi, the magnetic mirror omega phi. Well, the constant C is a topological constant. We integral in both sides, get to the C equal to the n times the integration over the magnetic mirror, and the, which can be can be computed by the algebraic invariant by and the ample ample light bound H uh, intersect the L n minus one over the volume L. I always denote this one by the mu H L. Some twisty can be valued as some twisty uh, slope mu mu L. So it's well known the J equation is uh, the critical point of the J functional defined as a, as a, uh, uh, the the energy minus the C times the energy. Sorry, I do not uh, write the explicit definition of the twisty uh, the magnetic energy and the magnetic energy is to the uh, you can see. The derivative of this this one is the twisted part of this 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 mirror, and the derivative of, the, of this magnetic energy is the magnetic mirror. So, for any test configuration, curly X and curly L, well, a test configuration roughly you can say as a this star. Sister degeneration of uh, uh, polarized variety. For a uh, general definition, it's it's a uh, uh, flat family from uh, n dimensional n plus one dimension uh, uh, variety or scheme go to uh, complex number of C such that the each non zero non zero fiber uh, isomorphic to the original XL. The L is a relative semi ample light bundle. So the, we, we recall the long midi GH functional. The definition is a twisted uh, long midi twisted uh, mirror uh, functional minus the C times long midi mirror functional. That the explicit definition is defined by the by the intersection number. First one is the mu star rho star h times the l bar. And well, rho is this this morphism. When I say the dominating, which means the test configuration clearly acts as a morphism from, from its form to the x times the p1. Uh, sorry, I showed the, say the x p, p1, which means x times p1. And uh, this, this, this morphism is a projection. Uh, the L bar means the uh, can canonical compact compactification, which uh, which obtained by add uh, the trivial fiber at uh, infinity. Uh, this part uh, C, we, we know C is M mu H, and uh, this one is self intersection of L bar. Uh, so we say XL is uniform J H stable if uh, there exists some constant 
such that the now community JH functional is greater than equal to the epsilon euro J function, now community J function. The definition of this one is the L times the LP1 and N times LP1. Sorry, uh, the LP1 means the rho star L. You can see it as a rho star L. Uh, minus the n plus y, the self intersection of L bar. Uh, so, motivated by the Fujita least criteria for Kell Einstein equation, we hope to study the uniform value, uniform J stability by, in terms of valuations. For any prime divisor, uh, we can define the little J H invariant as follows, and SH F minus S invariant. Well, well, S invariant is this volume one of volume times the integration of the volume pass as before. And the SH invariant is the integration of the derivative part. This one, the, this is the positive intersection dot the divisor H by the boxon Fari Johnson theorem. We know this is a derivative of the volume. So similar with the delta, delta invariant, we define the variative J H stability threshold, the infamous of the S invariant over S H invariant over S, which is positive. Of course, which is positive. So we say the XL is the variatively JH same stable if the this invariant JH is non negative and the variative uniform variative JH stable if there exists some con uniform constant such that the JH invariant is greater than equal to epsilon times euro J invariant. Well, J invariant is defined as tau L minus S invariant. Well, uh, recall the tau L is a pseudo effective threshold. So, obviously, the uniform variative JH stable is equivalent to the gamma, gamma invariant is strictly bigger than constant of this. At, uh, this constant C. And together with a uh, uh, recent uh, Gauchen's work, we can obtain the uniform evaluative stability implies the uh, uniform, oh, sorry, uniform JH stability implies the uh, uh, uniform evaluative JH stability, uh, i.e., uh, easy part, a uh, easy direction of evaluative criteria. In other, in other words, if the polarized variety uh, together with the Gaussian's work, if the polarized manifold has a unique solution of J equation, then this invariant gamma H is strictly bigger than constant state. Uh, for, for sure, let's, uh, for the ideal um, proof, we would naturally call the theory of this curve uh, developed by the Rost and the Fajinsto. Uh, my, my notation of this curve follow, follows the uh, Min Chen Xia's paper. A uh, test curve is a map psi dot from the real number to the model, model potential. Well, model potential means uh, uh, PSH, uh, well, PSH means uh, uh, omega PSH function. Uh, the model potential means, means uh, PSH, uh, omega PSH function with uh, gold singularity. Sorry, I do not uh, introduce the explicit definition. So such that the psi is kind in this this dot and uh, psi is 
upstream continuous as a function uh, on the um, at times r. And uh, when r go to mass infinity, the psi go to zero in L1 sense. And uh, for i large enough, the psi r equal to mass infinity. The right, right picture is, is, is this. Let's set the i plus as the infinite r such that uh, psi i equal to minus, minus infinity. So we know for each prime divided f, it induces a z filtration f on the section ring r, where well, r means the section ring of xl. It's given by the f lambda rk. For lambda is uh, non negative, the uh, well, uh, filtration means the family of uh, vector space of this uh, of this space. For lambda is uh, negative, the, this space defined as original space H zero x k l, and when lambda is non negative, the space is H zero x l k l minus lambda f, and for this this field the, this filtration is induced an uh, I model test curve psi top uh, sorry psi r i is a psi i equal to the equal to the p uh, the I model envelope uh, or of uh, psi r so uh, I do not introduce the explicit definition of the I model which means uh, go the life singularity that the model 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 potential. The explicit definition of psi as this one, uh, the slope of semi-continuous as a star means the of semi-continuous, the k over one, one over k, the slope is a log as the, as, as the square norm. Well, h means uh, smooth, Metric on L such that the uh, first transform equal to the omega, and uh, so uh, uh, a simple uh, a simple calculation we can we can so for suitable R uh, for in in this uh, interval and the generic number of psi R along the X is greater than or equal to r. So the definition is this generic number is the, the non number along the generic point. So since the psi, sorry, psi r is i model by, by Davas and Shah's work, we know the uh, analytic mass equal to the Algebraic mass, uh, algebraic volume, uh, asymptotic growth, and uh, which is greater than equal to the the uh, asymptotic uh, growth of the S K R uh, R K this space. Since the, each element we can easily take, uh, which is square square integral with respect to the this metric. And uh, for this can be easy check equal to the volume L minus R X. So for converse direction, we have this, uh, the following lemma for any prime divisor and uh, omega PSH function, uh, we uh, satisfy the the generic number is greater than x to x than the volume of this L minus xf is greater than the Marinette measure of omega f, uh, omega phi. And uh, the positive intersection product, this one, is greater than twisted the Marinette measure. So by, by this inequality and uh, and this inequality, we know, we know the the mass of psi r 
equal to the volume of L minus Ris. So we can compute the manual energy of the test curve. The definition is uh, the first inequality, the uh, first equality, which is equal to this one. We replace this by this one, and uh, can so the uh, energy of the test curve equal to the S invariant, and uh, we can also. Of the test curve, the definition is the first, first uh, uh, equality by this this one. Uh, this is due to the lemma, which is equal to the S H invariant. So the test curve energy of the test curve psi is small than equal equal to the S H invariant. So let's recall the inverse Legendre transformation for a test curve. Take uh, its inverse Legendre transformation. We get a uh, maximum geodesic ray since the psi is a model test curve. This by the Devon uh, Damas and uh, Mintesha's paper, recent paper, which corresponds. Uh, well, I do not introduce the explicit definition of maximum chaotic degree, which means, which corresponding to a finite energy log midi metric, uh, uh, which means can, it is, can be can be approximated by algebraic delta, but uh, I, uh, a family of test configuration, I denote by some very side, and uh, moreover by the, Bowman, Bowman, uh, Bookson and Johnson's work and uh, Chinese work, we know the log midi function of a uh, log midi measurement function of phi equal to the radio function, this one, and and uh, twisted measurement log midi measurement function, this one, equal to the corresponding radio function, and by Damas. And the Shah's paper, this one equal to the magnetic energy of the test curve, and by recent work of Inchen uh, Shah's, the twisted, the, the, it's also holds for the twisted magnetic energy. So the GH invariant is greater than equal to the, the twisted magnetic energy of the test curve minus some. Constant state times the magnetic energy of the test curve, which equal to the radio function, corresponding radio function. And uh, well, there exists uh, a sequence of small log midi metric, which is induced by uh, test configuration curly X and uh, L, curly L, which um, strongly converts to phi. Uh, such that, uh, which means the long midi J functional is convert, converting, and the uh, J functional, long midi J functional also convert. So the GH invariant is greater than equal to the limit of the J functional of this test, of this family of test configuration by assumption of J uniform J stability. Which greater than equal to the epsilon and the limit euro j function of of fair key. So this one is convert to this j function of phi and uh, can use it j. We can use it check the non community j function of phi equal to the j invariant, euro j invariant of f. So we show the easy direction. So for the remind time, I I want to talk uh, uh application of variative stability. So yeah, next quick question uh, before you before you go to move on to the next topic. Yeah. So uh, 
at one point you mentioned this result of Gao Chen. Yeah. And you said uh, by his result, if there exists a J extremal metric, then you are stable uh, in this gamma sense, right? Yes. It, 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 maybe you said it already, but I have to ask. Uh, is, is the other direction known? Uh, the, the converse direction, up, up to now, I, I cannot show the it's, converse but, direction. Okay, but do you expect it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, that was my question. Okay. So uh, let's recall some uh, basic definition of toric priority. So let's x uh, sigma is a uh, be a uh, n-dimensional projective normal toric variety associated to a fan sigma, where n is a lattice of all one parameter subgroup of the torus, and the phi phi means uh, means a connection of cones such that each cone in the phi is generated by finite many elements and the intersection too is also in this phi for any cone, uh, for any two cones and it will not arm this uh, deal of uh, and the lattice of the character of the torus and sigma one is a set of the row of reals of, of the phi uh, means the dimension one cone. So for each real row in the determinants, uh, prime divisor D row and the element U row in N. So for any ample line bundle, we know it's uh, corresponding to a four dimensional lattice polytope P whose normal phi is uh, sigma. So for, let, let, me, let me write uh, ample divided L as uh, sum of A row, D row, and the, the corresponding lattice polytope as uh, M, and uh, a PL is M in the MR uh, real with space MI such that uh, in the product M and the U row, is greater than mass a row. So uh, we can show the for XL be a polarized toric variety and uh, assume XL is k semi stable, that the volume of L is less than or equal to the this maximum of, row, of a row times the one plus n over n plus one mu L times the tau L S, well S is uh, is an exceptional divider of blow up to a small point. So we can easily check uh, this inequality is scaling var on on the multiple of L. So we can assume a normalization condition mu L equals to one, the upper bound uh, becomes to the this one. Uh, by uh, Bloom and Johnson's results, we can we can explicitly write this this invariant. But for simplicity, I just uh, denote it. In uh, this this type of result is uh, first considered con by Fujita. Uh, the Fujita gives uh, in. Uh, famous result for follow case. And in the same, same paper, he gave an interesting null bound of the volume of L minus XF. The so volume L plus XF is uh, greater than this one, L intersection, self intersection minus X uh, times N. And so the integration of the volume is greater than this is the in integration of this part. So, which equal to the square root n of volume L, n over n times n plus one n times volume L. Sorry. Hey, sorry. 
All right. And uh, uh, yes, the, the, the proof is simple. Uh, it's well known can same stable implies the origin of data in talking vanishing. And by Durban and Lagrange's paper, uh, they show the valuation of same stable if and only if the talking origin of talking environment vanishing for toric variety. So we know the XL is valuation of same stable, so beta L is not negative. So we take F as the exceptional divisor of the blow up of a smooth point induced by some uh, uh, factor U0 and can by the basic uh, theory of toric variety, we can show, we can compute the log discrepancy to N. So right L has this sum and uh, we know the Kx is minus the sum of D0. So, but by, by the non activity of the beta. So, the, the, the first part is n times the volume, and the second part is n mu times SL, creates the direct part. And this one can be right as this. So, we times this constant and uh, this one. So this one is greater than equal to the positive intersection product of L. So by the use for lemma, we know this one is the integration of volume L minus XF so n plus one times n plus one. So can be com uh, can be computed as this this one because 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 of the Vegeta's lower bound by by this inequality, so uh, simplify it. So we get uh, this result. This this term. Well, the, this well this inequality is due to a result of Boxon, Fari, and Johnson. Uh, which says the 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 uh, positive intersection with a uh, effective divisor is non-negative, since it can be computed as a restricted volume, and uh, so the, uh, this uh, volume over the maximum of a row is less than equal to one plus the this term, uh, and uh, this part. We know the SL invariant and the tau L is equivalent by uh, coefficient n over n plus one. So we saw the result, uh, this not the this this uh, volume bound. Uh, okay, I I think I stop here. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the nice talk. Uh, are there any questions by any of the students? I guess that's a no. Or maybe say home. Uh, no, I don't have any questions. No questions. Okay, good. Uh, well, let's thank uh, the speaker again, Yashion. Thank you very much for spending time with us. Thank you very much. All right. Thank so you.